<clears throat> yeah, I decided to start this topic. My name is Comrade Akiumi Olayemi. My name is Comrade Pralijan Akiumi Olayemi from Pralaj International. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. You have the right to defend yourself. You have the right under the law to defend yourself. But I don't want you to defend yourself and still be arrested and prosecuted for murder. So that is why I want to start talking about, you know, talking on this topic. When we say enough is enough, you can't just wait like that. Now, this is the two ways you can keep safe. Number one, somebody coming to attack you, you escape. That's number one. That's the best. But somebody wants to attack you. You are pursued to the war. The war, you are at, at the end of the war. So you cannot escape. And now, you are not supposed to, come on, you are not supposed to now wait and say, oh, please, or you now say, this is my head, cut it. The law, the moral, everything requires that you should fight back. Now, people use several things to fight back as much, as worse, as least, as feces. Feces, big bear. You can use it to fight back, just to escape. So what we are talking about on this topic is, we cannot continue to be at the receiving end. I'm telling you, you cannot afford to continue to be at the receiving end. Some people will think, hey, come in, attack you, kill you, maim you, and you say, oh, ah, government is not condemning this atrocity. Oh, our leaders is not, they are not protecting us. Come on now, this is, this is getting too much now. Eh? This is getting too much. But Yoruba people will say, you first go and learn how to get your statement right before you fight. That's a jolamanko. You go and learn that first before you fight. A jolamanko katuja. A jolamanko. At one point, they will ask you one question. Just one question, you can you won't be able to reply, and they will tell you yes or no. The question is just like Agbalagba, a old man. You know, you you at one point you had your son, that's little son of yours, maybe five, seven years, and those questions are so very tiny, very, very short, very simple. Why did you pick the cup? Why did you pour the palm oil? This question is so very simple and very straightforward. And the son will be, hey, mommy, please. No, answer the question. I'm only asking you a question. Yes or no? Just answer. The mommy, <laughs> okay. Did you take the, this thing or not? Yes or no? There's no hurt to you. I did it too. Yes or no? I've been in the court and uh, they ask such questions from old men, adults. And then you, you see them swearing and they're like, um, and what I'm saying, ah, sir, we are not asking for any explanation. Just answer the question. It's just the matter of yes and no. So that is why don't fight until... You have 
You, you have something. You have something. So talk in your defense. It could be just a, right, you know, they will tell you, some people say report writing, some people say statement writing, some people say, even, all right, just explain what happened. So before you fight back, the first thing is, what we are going to talk about today, I'm not going to be too long on this. So what you need to know is, you need statements. Because at the end of the fight, you still be hacked, you still have to explain. When you fight, you defend yourself, and at the end of the day, they will still ask you what happened. So you don't want to be guilty for anything. Please, make sure, that is very important. Before you fight back, make sure you, now let me add one or two points to it. Apart from statement, make sure it is documented. If I say documented, it means when someone come to fight you and you have your statement, Believe me or not, whether you have a good statement, you are saying the truth, this guy come to you, he said, I will kill you, he, he, he show, in fact, he, he remove his, uh, he, 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 he show you a gun, he show you a knife, he say, that guy, I'm going to cut your head, and you couldn't get a fact about it. You are still, you still be seen as the culprit, like, like, you still be seen as, as, a, as a culprit, like a criminal. Make sure all your uh, uh, defense, you can get an evidence. <laughs> He's saying then when Fulani was attacking some people and uh, some guys came and said, I want to join Pralag. They are farmers. I want to join Pralag. I said, you want to join Pralag. And then when they joined, they said, do you know why we joined Pralag? I said, why? They said because the Fulani was uh, attacking us, they are killing us, and the end of the day, police will, will support them, and uh, they will say Shebi, Shebi is, a, is a farm produce. So, and you attack them, you attack the animals. It's farm produce now. That is no big deal. And then they will still lock them up and still collect money from them. I say it's because you fail to document your defense. Our, fa our father, Yoruba people, even everywhere, they expect that you have some kind of defense before you fight back. Okay, comrade, how do we now get this evidence? Simple. Make sure your phone is always with you. <laughs> okay, what, we, what should we do with the phone? They brought uh, like hundreds of, uh, of cows into my farm. And then they also have dagger in their hands. They want to attack me. You want me to now pick my phone and... For what? I said... Number one thing, you need a defense. Now, they come with hundreds of uh, cows. They have daggers. How do we, how do you expect me to believe you without a fact? But now if I ask you, oh, what happened on your farm? Oh, they destroyed, these are, they brought a uh, cow. Then how would you want me to believe that this is the handiwork of a uh, and the Fulani and the, and the cows. And I, so you don't believe me? This is my phone. I recorded it. In fact, you see this guy was holding, see as he was holding that guy, he want to cut me, he want to kill me. And you escape. I, I ran. Then at, afterward, uh, other people came and then they attack him back. And they will say, oh, good. It happens to my comrade. I said, come on, come on. And then, they arrested him. As they, they said he put poison in the farm. I said, what do you mean by poison in the farm? Statements. It depends on the way you put down your statements. And then when they asked him, he said, eh, poison. I said, what do you mean? Why are you saying you put poison? Did you put poison? He said, no. What did you put? I put protection in my farm because of uh, uh, bush rats. I, what do we call it? I want, I want, I want jekoyi, animals. I wasn't even targeting a cow. Cow is a domestic, you know, it's a, a, a something we rare to, you know, to make money. But I'm talking about bush rats that comes to destroy our farm produce. I'm quite, that's, we only use this to protect our farm. 
And then I and I turn to police. Police, now, you want to tell me that this person doesn't have the right to put chemicals in his farm to protect his farm? Answer me. Just answer me that question. Police, tell me. This guy doesn't have the right to protect his farm. Why do you put burglaries in your house? And now when you put burglaries in your, in your farm and the thief comes, they came into your house, they, want to, they wanted to come in into your house and the burglary wounded them. This is blood coming out from everywhere. And then you will say you want to arrest the landlord for putting burglary in his, in his house. Is that what you are telling me? This person puts uh, chemicals in his farm to protect the farm produce. And then somebody somewhere rear a uh, cow into the, they that, that same uh, farm. And then two or three cows died. And you say you want to arrest the farm, the farmer because of that. I want you to put it again. I want you to listen to yourself again. I said, no, I wasn't saying that. Uh, but uh, you see, they are not supposed to put poison. I said, did you put poison? Come here. Did you put poison? He said, no, I put chemicals. You can't deny that. Sir, now, what I'm telling you right now is, before you fight back, somebody come to array, you know, attack you to kill, maim, cut your head, your family, your, your, your son. Before you fight back, Make sure you have witness. That definitely that will be witness. That that will be people around the community. Maybe it now get to a point that the place is deserted, and they wanted to, they want to attack you. That's why you have your phone. Record it. Get it documented. People will say, <laughs> somebody want to attack you. Now you have pick. You now pick a phone and start recording. Does that make sense? I'm telling you. I went to a lot of, I have I've done a lot of intervention and I, this is tested and uh, confirmed. Anyhow, don't let me even tell you, you can pick your phone, you can do anything, you can, you can get anything. All you need, the first thing you need is just document this information. Make sure that at the end of the day, they will ask you come and report, uh, come and write a statement or come and tell us what happened. They will never find you guilty. They will. It will show that you are not the attacker. You are only defending yourself. That is what I'm going to talk to you about today. Another point. Um, I was. I will talk about it next time. So, enough in a, is enough. Part one. Let's say one. Next time I will talk about two. I will talk about three. There are different ways. To keep yourself safe. Enough is enough. It's time to fight back. Don't go out and go and fight anybody. But if anybody comes, instead of you holding up your hands, oh yeah, do whatever you want to do to me, fight back. Even if you are going to die. Even if you are going to be um, wounded, uh -uh, defend yourself first. I've seen some people, they will say, hey, I can't just die like a fowl. And you think I will just hold on my hand and I will die like a fowl? No. At least, even if you are 10, two of you will go with me. Two of you will go down. And then this is what you don't know. When you are fighting back, you will, maybe you only, maybe help is coming. Maybe help is coming in the next two minutes. They just want you to hold on for that two minutes. Just two minutes. And then you 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 lost all hope and you say, okay, and they they did that to you. What they feku fiarangare. But if you have fought back for just two minutes, maybe our help will come and then you'll be safe. Fear will kill a man a thousand times before before he died. All right? So the first thing is before you fight back, before you fight back, before you fight back, 
make sure at the end of the day, when they tell you come and come and come and speak, they will say, Oh, we thought you are the one that attacked someone. We didn't know you are just defending yourself. So you have not done anything. In the law, you have not done anything wrong. Morally, you have not done anything wrong. And then you will be saved. No matter anyhow you do, they want to place it, you'll be saved. I feel like saying everything. The second one, how much much have you trained your son, your daughter, the hacks of defense? How much? I can see, even here in the U.S., I can see there is no problem here. You see some people teaching their kids of five years, six years, out of defense. How do you defend yourself? Forget about that. Okay, let's forget about defense. In the, in the house, hey, hey, you're my wife, come, come, come. Assuming you attack today, where will you, what will you do? Most of them say, hey, oh yeah, mommy. And then you, you, even if you went somewhere to hide yourself, you still give yourself out. Why don't you call your daughter one day? Your dad or your daughter of five years. You see what is going on around you. Call him and say, baby, anything can happen anytime. Anything can happen tomorrow. When you hear that you are attacking us, what I want you to do, come. This is where I want you to hide. Don't say anything. Don't say anything, please. All right, come and see. So, 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 thing happened to so, 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 thing. You know why? Because when they are attacking, they are saying, Mommy, somebody is lucky. And some, some people will say, hey, Come and open the door. Your mommy is inside. Your daddy is inside. And then, it's Coco, Coco. Who is that? Ah, it's your uncle. Blah, blah, blah. Your, your daughter went to open the door. Knowing, knowing that these people are just coming, they disguise or, or your uncle, and they will attack your family. Teach your sons and daughters. Nigeria has gone beyond when we, we how we think we, we, we used to know it. All right? Call your five years, ten years, tell them some security tips, some small, small thing. Don't, don't, don't scare them. But just tell them, you can use old school, uh, old school tales by Moonlight. To tell them so that you won't put fear, too much fear on them. But at the same time, you have to tell them. Let them be prepared at any time. All right? Today, we are hearing this one attack and kill. Tomorrow, we hear this one attack and kill. Tom Get a safe place. Prepare some information for them. If you hear somebody is attacking us today, if I tell you, go, go. Go and hide. Maybe it has that two minutes, three minutes, these people will come. And I, will, I have a lot to discuss with us. On this, enough is enough. Enough is enough. All right? Let us be our brother's keeper. Today, I just started it today. I just, I can't just wait no more. Enough is enough. It's time to defend ourselves. It's time to fight back. I'm not even talking about tribe. I'm not talking about the religion. I'm just talking Gone are those days, our fathers, when we were still young. It's not up to... We are, you don't have this problem we are having this time around. My father have a day, you know, double barragon. And in the community, all the landlords will say, okay, from this time to this time, we have to be on the streets. Guiding ourselves, guiding our community. But this thing, we have gotten, you know, you know everything. Well, what is it now? We, we don't do what our father used to do. And they will now call one by one day to come and safeguard the, just one, to come and safeguard the community. And we say, we'll give you money. And that one will come after about 1 a.m., he will go back to his house. Sometimes it is this, this by about there, this mega that will call uh, Amrabra to come and attack you in, in your community. We've seen a lot of things, all right? So this is just the, uh, the beginning. Next time we'll talk more about that. Thank you once again. My name is Comrade Akim Yolayemi. From Pralag International. Bye bye. See you. I can see some people have given me stars. Stars. Wow. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for giving me stars. Thank you. So, until next time, catch you later.